Yo, people, yo, people, I'm going to be talking about E. Jean Carroll on Donald Trump, because E. Jean Carroll has stirred up some controversy with what she said on Rachel Maddow. And I'm about to show you a video of what she said and the reaction to what she said. Let's go. Ben, you've endorsed Donald Trump for president. Why you endorse someone who's been found liable for rape? Just it was not a question. criminal court. This was, this it was, was a, a civil court. It was a civil court. And by rape. the way, she joked about the judgment and what she was going to do with all that money. And I find that offensive. I'm I had such, such great ideas <laughs> for all the good I'm going to do with this money. First thing, Rachel, you and I are going to go shopping. We're going to get completely <laughs> new wardrobes, new shoes. You're asking me a question about my political choices, trying to shame me as a rape victim, and I find it disgusting. And quite frankly, E. Jean Carroll's comments when she did get the judgment, joking about what she was going to buy, it doesn't, it, it makes it harder for women to come forward when they make a mockery out of rape, when they joke about it. Does it's it not, make it harder okay. for women to come forward when they It makes it harder when other women candidates? joke about it, and she's joked about it. I find it offensive, and I also find it offensive that you're trying to shame me with this question. I'm not trying to shame you. You are. You're shaming no. me for I'm my not, political I'm choices. Not, I'm As a woman, I find, your, I find it offensive. I'm asking My political you. choices, I've endorsed the man that I believe is best for our country. It's not Joe Biden. And you looked at the dueling rallies yesterday in Georgia. Lake and Riley's family was with Donald Trump. They weren't with Joe Biden. The same guy yesterday that apologized for calling her killer an illegal, who was an illegal. And here you are trying to shame a rape victim. I find it disgusting. So there you have it. There you have it. Loads of stuff to get into. First of all, we can start off with the introduction. He says that Donald Trump had a judgment against him for rape. This is not true. I want people to be abundantly clear about this. The jury, the New York jury, found that he did not rape her. What they did find, bizarrely enough, is that he sexually abused her, which is something we're going to get to in a moment. Because I know a lot of you be thinking, well, that's bad, that's bad. But I'm going to explain to you why that decision, in my opinion, makes zero sense whatsoever. It makes no sense. But... You know, no, it's the shame tactic, tactics here of somebody who I think she's a Trump supporter. And he's like, you support a rapist? First of all, not true. Second of all, these, these bizarre shame tactics of like, you support a rapist. Um, like, you, what, what kind of rubbish is this? Do you like... My guess is this woman, and I think she says so in the video, I'm not sure, is that she doesn't actually believe that Trump is a rapist. But she has a right not to, right? She has a right not to believe what E. Jean Carroll has said. The same way people have a right to believe that E. Jean Carroll is telling the truth. And so when she when she supports Trump, I doubt she's supporting him, especially seeing as she says she is a rape victim. I highly doubt she's going, oh, he's a rapist? Yes! You, of course, you know... That's that's the claim some people want to make. Because again, Trump Trump haters, bro, they they just common sense flies out the window with these people sometimes, honestly. And then you see the clip of of this woman on Rachel Maddow talking about how she's gonna buy new clothes with her. Like what what? Bro, you've just gotten all this money that in all honesty, I don't really understand. Like, again, I'm not saying she's lying or she's not lying. But how they came to this number, I do not know. Because, again, this is foreign to me as somebody from the UK. Because these, these damages that they awarded her. So the damages they awarded her were a total of 83 million. So 83.3, for being totally exact. 65 million of which, this is according to Forbes, which I'll leave in the description, the little key fact, the article. If you want to read it, you can. Uh, it says 65 million in punitive damages. So what that basically means, if you don't know what punitive means, it means punishment, right? There's 65 million just as a punishment for what Trump did. And 18.3 million in compensatory damages. As far as I'm aware, she had no therapy sessions. She might have done. I didn't read the whole judgment because I'm not an eek. But like, what? so what, what exactly is this 83 million? You would think you would actually have to show why you deserve 83 million you would think you'd actually have to show this and demonstrate and say this is how much i have been cost over time as a result of what trump said 
I find the whole defamation case, frankly, to be a very massively bizarre. And there's more, there's more about this, more videos I'm going to show you as well. In, in just to show you some of the fallout of this. But I do find it bizarre, right? That there, there, she accuses him of defamation. Right. And I like, from what I understand, right, he refuted the claim before she, obviously before she bought the defamation suit up. But now she's saying that he defamed her. Or the, no, the, the, she's saying that... Yeah, she's saying he defamed her. Sorry. Bleh. Now, like, isn't this worrying for, like, everybody accused of, of rape or sexual assault basically ever on the face of the planet? Because most people who are accused of sexual assault, both innocent and guilty, will likely go to court and say, I did not do it. The person is lying. That is more or less the sum total of what most defendants are going to say in these cases. Probably even more so if you say it in the public eye. If you if you go out in public and say, this is what happened to me. Like, you say, oh yeah, he raped me. If he's even more likely to say, no, no, I did not. How you can call this defamation? This is called a defense, people. Like, it's bizarre to me that somebody defending themselves against an accusation is now defamation of character. I don't I don't really understand how that works, quite. Because can't you leather this against every accused rapist ever? Which is, which is a bad idea, because, I mean, A, you're going to have tons of civil suits. B, right, you might end up bilking innocent men out of their money. After you've had them arrested and thrown in jail, you can also bilk them out of their money as well. You can just add insult to injury. Like, it, it's bizarre to me that him saying she's a like, she's a liar. I mean, of course he's going to say that. It makes no sense to me that this is a this is a defamation thing. She accused him of a very serious crime, and he said she's bsing. Of course, of course he's going to like. Why that is defamation is bizarre. Like how you can, especially after the fact, he didn't say this. Like, I don't know if he said this after the judgment, but I think he did. He said it on a uh, a thing. I saw I saw a thing on Fox News about this where he said he 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 again basically said she was bsing, right? But he he's obviously going to say that this didn't happen. That's that's normal. That's what most accused people, most defendants say. To then turn around and say, you are defaming me by denying the accusation is a whole new level of bizarre. So on that level, I find this case very, very odd. B. B. And I, was, I said I was going to talk about this before. Right? And it's key of what, to what I just said. So as we've laid out to you, there are two, there are two scenarios that have been laid out in this case. E. Jean Carroll, who says that Trump raped her, and Trump, who said this never remotely happened. This is key because of the New York judgment, as I said I would talk to you about. They ruled that he sexually abused her but did not rape her. So they basically said, we don't think this was rape, it was sexual abuse, which is, like, I'm not entirely sure what you mean by that. How, like, how does this, it, it's very confusing to think about because what, what the jury has essentially done is somehow turn around to both E. Jean Carroll and Donald Trump and say, you are wrong. Like, how does this work? You've got two people who give two different versions of an event. And then you've got a jury who was, as far as I aware, nowhere near the event at the time, claiming that actually both of you are wrong. This is what happened. Like, what? This is the equivalent of if, if a prosecutor brings somebody up for murder. And then the jury comes back and says, we find him not guilty of murder, but guilty of grand larceny. It's like, what the fuck? What the fuck? There's no grand larceny charge here. It's either it, it was a rape or it was not a rape. That is the scenario that has been placed before you. You can't, like, it's bizarre to me to turn around and say, well, it wasn't a rape. But Trump is guilty of sexual abuse. What the fucking shit? No one's alleging that it was merely sexual abuse. She says it was rape. He says it was nothing. Well, how you can come to a completely different conclusion to both versions of events in the absence of any evidence that I can see pointing that way is rather bizarre.
It is rather bizarre. And this whole case is rather bizarre, I don't want to see. There's another reason for that right here. You've got, you've got the media again. Right. In staunch defense, as we see. Let's let's go. Let's just play this. Let's, let me just play this. Why not believe Agent Carroll? It's not me. It's not the media. It's a jury hey guys, found that he sexually abused Agent Carroll. So there you have a reporter right there. Again, willfully not mentioning what I just mentioned earlier about how bizarre it is to come to the conclusion of sexual abuse when neither side alleges that that is the crime. But, like, now we have to wonder, this is Elise Stefanik, right? You have to wonder, is she going to get hauled in front of a court for defamation now? Is she next on the chopping block? Because she said that the cases are bogus. That includes the E. Jean Carroll case. Is she saying that E. Jean Carroll is lying? Is she? Because, I mean, you know, it is up for interpretation. You could argue she's not. You could argue she is. But, I mean, it's, it, it, she's, she's basically confronting the lawfare with regarding Trump. And, and again, it's got nothing to do with E. Jean Karen or whether or not she's lying. But the reality is that the damages that they have put forward for her are, to me, seem a little bit arbitrary in all honesty. Or maybe not arbitrary, but just kind of logically baseless. Right? You And you tack that on top of the, the $350 million he's had to pay um, in, the, in the New York case regarding his, like, whatever. And then you tack onto that the fact that he has just had to put up $91 million in order to get the E. Jean Carroll case appealed. We are now talking about in excess of $500 million this man has had to pay out. Just in legal fees. Like, bruh, what is going on? Why is this man under a barrage of lawsuits all of a sudden in, in election year? Or close to election year now, all of a sudden there's a barrage against him. To the point where he's paid out in the last, like, less than a year, he has paid out over 500 million in legal fees. And by that, I mean legal fees on the court. Never mind, like, the lawyers he's paying. Never mind how much they're getting. Who knows how much they're getting on top of that? He's paying out a stupid amount of money here. And that's what's so concerning to me, is all these punitive, like, these damages that are being put on him are very concerning. Now, the last clip is a clip that I thought I would play because it's something that has circulated for a very long time about this E. Jean Carroll woman. And I will say that this 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 is a highly bizarre video to play. And I just want to play it for you and I'm going to react to it after. This is the last one. Let's go. You don't feel like a victim. I was not thrown on the ground and ravished, which the word rape carries so many sexual connotations. This was not this was not sexual. It just, it, it hurt. It just, what, it just, you know. But I think most people think of rape as a, I mean, it is a violent assault. It is not. I think most people rape. think of rape as being sexy. Mm. Let's take a short break. Think of the fantasies. Mm. We're just going to take a quick break. If you can stick around, we'll talk more on the other side. You're fascinating to talk to. <laughs> you don't feel. So, and this is a clip that a lot of you probably have seen already. She says people think rape is sexy. I'm sorry, what? And who who exactly are these people, please? Please do point them out. Please do. Please do point out the people that have told you that rape oh, that's sexy. Oh yeah. Oh, who are these people? I mean, 
Just wow. I mean, wow. How does so? How does so? <laughs> I'm, I'm actually at a loss for words when I see this. I'm like, I'm not even sure what to say at this point. Rape is sexy, according to this woman. What planet is is she on? Like, I'm sorry, what? But doesn't this raise a rather obvious question, right? Of like, if you think rape is sexy, and you're accusing Donald Trump of rape, well, I mean, she I guess she doesn't think that rape is sexy. She thinks that other people think that, so I guess not. But who, who? So, so there are people out there who think that what happened to her is is good and and sexy. Can you point these people out, please? Preferably for a jury, right? And maybe we can we can like these these seem like criminals as well. You you want to accuse Trump? Fine, whatever. But can you can, can you name these people, please? Who have told you that rape is sexy? Can we haul them in front of a court, please? Because they sound highly suspicious to me. Rape is sexy. What in the fuck? What in the fuck is this entire this entire case is bizarre, people. I swear this entire case is weird. The whole thing is so weird. But I mean, yeah. Let me know what you don't think about all this down below. Because I thought that because the first video was the main controversy was her talking about how she's gonna buy new clothes with Rachel Maddow, right? Why? Why? But let me know what you lot think, bro. Is it what's the controversy here? Is is there a real controversy here? Do you do you side with with E. Jean Carroll that she can spend her money however she wants to spend her money, or is it kind of disrespectful that she's out there buying new clothes with the money instead of maybe doing something generous with an amount of money that she has that I'm not entirely sure can really be justified. Even if even if you think she's telling the truth, eighty three point three million in damages seems especially 65 impunitive damages seems highly arbitrary to me but i mean yeah let me just let me know what you don't think about this whole thing down below remember to like and subscribe people and see ya